today we'll be studying about some equations which are not linear but they can be converted into linear equations by substitution we'll look at our first example our first example is 2 by x minus 3 by y equal to 15 and 8 by x plus 5 by y is equal to 77 now as these equations contains the variables in the denominator and even after simplifying, we won't get a linear equation. Hence, these are non-linear equations. Now, I can just arrange these equations in this way. I can write 2 by x as 2 into 1 by x and 3 by y as 3 into 1 by y. Exactly in the same way, I'll write the second equation as well. Now, I'll substitute 1 by x is equal to a and 1 by y is equal to b. Now what happens after substitution is I get the first equation as 2. Remember 1 by x is converted into a. So it becomes 2a minus 3b is equal to 15. And the second equation becomes 8a plus 5b is equal to 77. Now these two equations are linear equations. And we have already seen many methods to solve the linear equations. The easiest and the fastest among them is either equating coefficients or the Kramer's rule. We can use either of this method to find out a and b. In this question, I'll be using Kramer's rule. So I have to find out d. We'll make a determinant of the coefficients and we'll solve it. I'll get 34. Then by replacing 2 and 8 by 15 and 77, I'll get d a as 306. Then by replacing the coefficients of y that is minus 3 and 5 by 15 and 77 and keeping the coefficients of a same, I'll get db as 34. Hence, I'll find a and b. a will be equal to da upon d that will be 9 and b will be equal to db upon d that will be 1. Now once I get a and b, remember our question contained the variables x and y. So our answer is not the values of a and b, but the values of x and y. So I'll re-substitute the values in the variable equations. That is 1 by x was equal to a. I'll substitute the value of a as 9 and taking invert and o, I'll get x is equal to 1 by 9. Exactly in the same way. We have taken 1 by y is equal to b. Again, substituting the value of b as 1, I'll get 1 by y is equal to 1 and taking invert and o, 1 by 1 is in fact 1. So the answer for x is 1 by 9 and y is 1. So this is how we convert a nonlinear equation into a linear equation by substitution and then solve using any of the method we know. Now let us have a look at another example. We have 27 upon x minus 2 plus 31 upon y minus 3 is equal to 85. And the second equation is 31 upon x minus 2 plus 27 upon y plus 3 is equal to 89. Now, this time we'll be substituting 1 by x minus 2 is equal to a and 1 by y plus 3 is equal to b. So after substituting, I'll get the first equation as 27a plus 31b is equal to 85. And the second equation as 31a plus 27b is equal to 89. Now again we have two linear equations. Now we have to solve them using any of the method we know and find out the values of a and b. That is left for you to do. So once we get the values of a and b, we will re-substitute the values of a and b in our variables. We have taken 1 by x minus 2 is equal to a. The value of a is 2. So substituting it and simplifying it, what I'll get is value of x is equal to 5 by 2. Exactly in the same way, we will re-substitute the value of b in our variable equation. Again, by taking invert and o and simplifying it, I'll get the value of y as minus 2. So the answer for this question is 5 by 2 and minus 2. Now we'll take another question. 
Now this question can come for up to 4 marks. The question is 10 by x plus y plus 2 upon x minus y is equal to 4. And the second equation 15 by x plus y minus 5 by x minus y is equal to minus 2. This time I need to substitute 1 upon x plus y is equal to a and 1 upon x minus y is equal to b. So the first equation we'll get is 10a plus 2b is equal to 4 and the second equation which I'll get is 15a minus 5b is equal to minus 2. Now these two equations are to be solved using any of the method. Try solving them using Kramer's rule and you should get the value of a and b as 1 by 5 and 1. So resubstituting these values of a and b what I'll get is 1 upon x plus y is equal to 1 by 5. By taking inverted though I'll get x plus y is equal to 5. This time I won't get an answer. I have got another new equation that is x plus y equal to 5. Resubstituting the value of b in the equation what I'll get is 1 upon x minus y is equal to 1. By taking invert and o, I'll get x minus y is equal to 1. Now I got two new equation in terms of x and y. Now we have to solve them again using any of the method we know and we have to find the values of x and y. After solving the values of x and y should come up to 3 and 2. Okay, now the next equation is even more complicated. It is 1 upon 3x plus y plus 1 upon 3x minus y is equal to 3 by 4. So again substituting 1 upon 3x plus y is equal to a and 1 upon 3x minus y is equal to b. So substituting these in the first equation I'll get a plus b is equal to 3 by 4 and substituting it in the second equation look at it very carefully it becomes a by 2 minus b by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 8 again now these two equations contains fractions so to simplify them I need to remove the fractions first in the first equation the highest denominator is 4 so I'll multiply the complete equation by 4 to remove the fraction so once I multiply it by 4 what I'll get is 4a plus 4b is equal to 3 and the second equation contains the maximum denominator as 8 so I'll multiply the complete equation by 8 so if I multiply the first term by 8 8 and 2 will get cancelled out and I'll get 4a minus 4b is equal to minus 1 now we have two linear equations we need to solve them and find out the values of a and b you can solve this using any of the method you know once you get the value of a and b, you can resubstitute the values in the given equations. By taking invert and o, I'll get another equation. Again, resubstituting the value of b, I'll get yet another equation. So I'll name them as 5 and 6. And this time again, we need to solve these two equations as well. And finally, by solving these two equations, you should get the values of x and y. So this is how we solve equations which are not linear but they can be converted into a linear equation by substitution.